Hi there, Nettie here. This is Victor, and uh, we're from PartyFowlPads.com. Uh, not only do we run a shop, but we like to make informative videos um, and write articles for other uh, pet parents, pet fowl parents, uh, ducks in particular, um, but a lot of our information uh, pertains to geese and chickens as well. Um, so uh, today we're making a, a very quick kind of an emergency video. Uh, we have a friend whose duck has swallowed something that uh, she shouldn't have swallowed. Um, she, the, her vet was called and the vet's not concerned about it, uh, but there are definitely things to look out for when a pet swallows something they shouldn't. Um, and there's uh, definitely a few little things you can try to help ease things along. Um, so the advice I'm giving you guys now is stuff that I've done in the past and that I've had friends show me how to do in the past or my vet has shown me how to do. Um, but you should always go with what your vet says first. Um, and if you're going to do any sort of dosing or um, any sort of uh, therapeutic, um, therapeutic anything for your pet, always check with your vet first just to make sure it's okay. Um, Victor here, uh, he's not having an emergency, uh, but he does have uh, some health conditions. Uh, he just turned eight years old um, on August 11th, so he's almost eight and a half years old. Um, and uh, I'm just getting a little bit of a little bit of an old man here. I know he's uh, mostly retiring from modeling uh, for our shop. He'll do a little bit here and there, um, but it's limited uh, because of his condition. Uh, Victor has developed arthritis here in his nice long little runner neck and uh, we're not sure if it got injured or if it's just something that built up over time. Um, we just had noticed that he was starting to hold his head down and not lifting it up. Um, and uh, now we noticed that um, he, we thought his eyesight was going at first, but we realized that his eyesight is being affected by his neck. He doesn't want to move his neck in order to be able to see things, so sometimes he doesn't see it or he has to stumble around a little bit to get the item in, in his view so it doesn't hurt. Um, so with Victor, because of his arthritis here, he does take medication. Um, he doesn't take it every day because every, taking it every day can have some, um, some cardiac issues potentially. Uh, so we do dose him every couple of days, especially when we see how he's feeling. Um, if he's uh, not feeling well or his head's down more, we'll give him his medicine. Or uh, we'll dose him before he takes a bath, that way he can keep his head up above the water. Um, so what we're going to show today, um, we are going to uh, do a syringe dosing. Um, so oral dosing on a duck can be very scary. Um, it's definitely very different. Uh, they will fight you and they, even ducks like Victor who's used to doing this does get feisty and um, and does kind of fight against it and you have to make sure you get the medicine in correctly so they don't aspirate it. Um, if they aspirate liquid of any sort and get it in their lungs they could develop a cough. Uh, that can make them very prone to things like um, uh, aspergillus. Um, so uh, the best thing to do is uh, get yourself comfortable look at a lot of videos potentially people doing this and get yourself familiar with your syringe and your duck and um, and only do stuff like this if your vet tells you to or if it's an emergency um, so we're gonna get started here and uh, so what Victor takes he takes uh, just a little bit less than a, uh, uh, a milliliter of uh, meloxicam um, it's actually a medicine that uh, people use so people use it, pets use it. It's an anti-inflammatory uh, medicine that helps, um, kind of like ibuprofen, so that this, this doesn't hurt him so much. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and um, I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Um, I'm going to get a little bit closer to the camera now. Um, that way you guys can see just a little bit more um, up close as to what I'm doing. Um, and don't mind me, I'm, uh, it's just me and Victor here. Um, the, Dad is not home at the moment. Uh, so uh, we're going to go ahead and give this video up because our friend uh, really needs to see how to do it uh, as quick as possible. Um, so uh, you can see here, Victor's giving me his hug. I think he's trying to be cute so I won't, I won't give him his yucky medicine. Um, I've actually tasted the medicine um, and it actually tastes okay. Uh, as long as the medicine is not something that's horribly toxic for human beings, um, I actually will taste a little bit of it so I can see what my ducks are going through. 
um, and or if I need to maybe sweeten it up a little bit to make it a little bit more appealing. Um, but this medicine is flavored, so it actually doesn't taste half bad. Um, but uh, but yeah, so um, you can see Victor's uh, wrapped up in a towel here. I know it's not the easiest to see because it's black, um, but our black towels are definitely our duck towels since they uh, they definitely don't uh, show uh, poop stains <laughs> over time. Um, so what I recommend you do is when you got got your ducky. So here's my here's my ducky. You can see how he holds his head down like that, so he won't won't lift it up even when he's uh, uh, standing. He still will, there he is standing on my, my leg, I know you can't see it, but he still keeps his head down. So um, the best thing to do is if you're not used to doing this is to use a towel. Uh, Victor and I don't always need a towel. Um, he's usually usually pretty cooperative. He's a pretty laid back duck. But um, so you guys, obviously if you have two people and you got extra sets of hands, you can wrap them up in a towel, a little, a little burrito, a little easier. Um, this is to kind of help him from scratching his bill with his feet um, and also to help uh, keep him from scratching me because um, uh, duck scratches are not fun um, and because ducks do walk in their own poop it you know it could cause um, an infection so if you do ever get scratched by your duck you should wash the area immediately put a little bit of neosporin on it um, so here we go we got Victor kind of wrapped up here see those little, those little feet down there um, so and that's like I said just to help keep him just kind of wrap them up a little tight, help him keep his feet down in place. Um, so then um, I like to get my syringe ready, uh, kind of in my, my other hands. You can see he's scared because he knows what it is. He sees it, so he does not like doing this. But we have to do it so you feel better, baby. Yeah, you always feel better after we do the medicine. Yeah, we do. It's okay. So I like to hold them close to me like this, like a like a little a little baby. Um, I usually sit down. I know it's kind of hard for you guys to see. Maybe I can try to point it down a little bit. But um, I sit uh, cross-legged. Just cross. Ah, I know it's kind of hard to see. Cross-legged or um, uh, crisscross style or um, or in, uh, Indian style uh, it used to be called. So uh, just with my legs crossed on the bottom, and that's so I can rest his feet. His feet. Oh, I know this is so hard for you guys to see, but I lift up my leg when I'm sitting. Let's see if we can get a picture of it. Ah, uh, no. We, let's see. We'll pull it back a little farther. See what we can do here. So I will tuck his feet kind of underneath my leg in there, and that's just to help keep them in place, um, to keep him from uh, accidentally uh, scratching me, while well, or himself. Uh, they sometimes will get their feet and they'll get it stuck like that in the roofs of their mouth and they could cut they could cut the inside of their mouths. So safe thing is to I tuck tuck those little feet in and then um, you can hold your animal by the bill. That's what I usually do. I kinda hold them and I try to be calm. Um, the less nervous you are, the the better your duck will feel. So he he, he likes little head scratches here. So that calms him down before we take our medicine. Um, that way he's not stressed. When an animal is stressed, it, it just, you know, dosing them can make them even more stressed. And stress can really exacerbate a problem. Uh, so we try to keep them as calm as possible. Um, you know, I keep my voice down and I try to keep it very monotone. Um, so what, what we're going to do here, like I said, here, we'll pull, like I said, a little closer here so you guys can see a little bit better. So I've got him here by... Uh, his bill, right? And he'll do this, he'll fight. What I like to do is keep the backs of their necks or their head against your shoulder, um, and that's so they don't pull back and hurt themselves. So that way, he's kind of firmly situated back there on my, my shoulder, right? Then I grab him on either side of his bill, like that, and you gotta open his mouth. Sometimes it's very hard to open their mouth. You have to get a little finger in there and, and pry them apart. Um, then you wanna lift, this is the part he hates because it hurts him, I know. You gotta l try to lift their their bill up as much as possible so that way you know that your your medicine is going in correctly. So the ducks have a little thing in their mouth called the glottis. So when you put this in, make sure you go over the tongue and it's gonna struggle and it's gonna go down and you're gonna try and get it down as 
far as possible. See my fingers all the way in there. You'll feel a little, um, almost like a, it's okay. You're all right. Let's make sure we get it in the right hole, okay, baby? I know sometimes it can be hard to push the plunger, especially when you're wiggly. Come here, baby. You're all right. You're all right. So now that we got it all the way down in there, you almost feel it. It's almost like a like a little organ that flaps in their throat, like a, like the back of a tongue. <laughs> like how he just wiggled his tongue while I did mine. Almost done, baby. Almost done. A little bit more. There you go. There you go. So, you know, it's, like I said, it's hard and it's scary. Oh, there you go. It's all right. And, oh, yeah. Oh, good baby. So he knows it's hard. It's difficult. Um, but it does, it does help. It makes them feel a lot better. Um, so, essentially, at the back of their throats, they have, it's called the gladys. And it'll go like, kind of like, um, kind of like the little thing that hangs in the back of a, of a human's throat. Sorry about that. Dry mouth. <laughs> So it, uh, you know, so it's like that little, that little dingly thing at the back of your throat. That's kind of what he has too. What it is, it's a little valve that goes um, from either their airway to breathe or from their, down to their crop for them to, to consume something. Uh, so we want to make sure we get past that little flap. And if you get past that little flap, then you can release the medicine. Um, like I showed you, sometimes a little syringe can be really hard. Kind of have to hold on either side and, and, and push and try your best. Um, it helps to have another person. But uh, we typically do this ourselves. We just, uh, I just kind of get him uh, up and, up and uh, against my shoulder here. Um, and he'll start feeling better in a few minutes once the medicine has time to get uh, into his system here. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so as long as you make sure you get that syringe all the way down past that glottis, it'll go into the crop and then into his digestive system. Um, some people will use this, uh, they will give, use um, glycerin uh, suppositories meant for baby duck or baby people, not ducks, uh, but you can get them in like the, the child care section at a Walgreens. Um, they're usually like a little bulb with the with the glycerin in it and then a little cap and you can just do that too. You can get it squeezed all the way down in there. Um, if yours doesn't come with a long tip then you might need to ask your pharmacist for a few little syringes. Um, they're usually good at giving you these, uh, just tell them you need ones for babies, uh, the smallest ones that you got. Um, uh, but uh, you can use that glycerin and then get that down in the system and what it does when you put it in their system it's kind of like a, I guess a farm trick to help kind of oil up the, the digestive system and then the path out the bottom. Uh, people will use uh, olive oil or mineral oil um, and uh, that kind of, especially on uh, female ducks that are having some trouble laying their eggs. So, um, and the same goes for then ducks who have uh, eaten something that they shouldn't have eaten. Um, so if it's, uh, if it's your if your vet is okay with you going ahead and trying the glycerin or trying um, an olive oil down the system, um, it won't hurt them. It's pretty much just like getting a little bit more fat that day in their diet, um, and uh, they'll they'll poop out the, the excess. Um, if they have consumed something they shouldn't have or they can't pass an egg, you really need to double check to make sure that they're pooping. Um, if they've gone more than six to eight hours without pooping, that tells you that there's a problem um, because ducks, as you know, poop quite frequently. Um, so we need to make sure that they're pooping. That tells you that the system is free and clear and that it's not blocked. Um, also make sure that they have plenty of water. They need a lot of water to, to push all that stuff through. Um, if you don't already feed your animals grit, um, I highly recommend a grit or even what we use is uh, crushed oyster shells. Um, it, not only does it help a female lay a, a nice good um, egg with a good shell, it gives them calcium, but the little, uh, the little, they're like little rocks, um, but they swallow them and it gets in their crop and helps grind up their food or grind up, you know, things that they might have ingested. Um, so, uh, so yeah, you can make sure you have that for them. That's a great preventative measure because then it makes sure that they have something in their stomach to grind up the things that they need. Um, but, uh, but then, 
Um, if they are pooping, you should inspect their poop. Um, if you uh, have a diaper, I strongly suggest you keep them diapered until you maybe see some evidence that the, that the item has been passed. Um, so that way it just makes it easier to check their poop. Or if, uh, if you don't uh, harness your animals, you could put them in a, a large storage container. Um, so just like a big plastic tub uh, you can get at Walmart for like maybe 10 bucks. Uh, you could put them in there uh, with like a puppy pad um, or maybe just a little bit of their bedding um, and uh, just kind of let them in there with a big nice uh, 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 waterer of some sort. You can use like a pitcher. I recommend something that's got a wide base, a small opening at the top and make sure it's deep enough um, that they could fit their whole bill um, up to their eyes in the clean water. Um, and that's just to make sure if he needs anything to clear out his nose or to clear out their mouth and then they swallow it and then they get it all drink 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 and get it all down their their uh, their system um, so you definitely need water to make poop and uh, you need to make sure that they're pooping in order to get whatever's in there out um, in some cases if they have eggs uh, their eggs can um, you can, sometimes you can feel them uh, right like right about there in the belly and uh, if you feel an egg in there and you feel like your duck's having a hard time passing that egg um, or if they're, um, they might be having trouble passing an, an item that they've swallowed, you could definitely put them in the bathtub. By putting them in the bathtub and filling the water up so it's deep enough for them to float, um, that helps them relax and their muscles relax. Usually if you, if you know, if you've had ducks for a while, whenever you put them in water, um, like a tub or if they jump into a pool, the first thing they do is poop. Every single time, without question, these guys poop every time they get in the tub. Um, and that's because they're, they're getting relaxed. Their, their muscles are relaxing. They're able to rest their feet and their legs a bit by floating. Um, so if they have swallowed something that they didn't, that they, didn't uh, that they shouldn't have swallowed, then, oh, hi. Hi. You want to say, say hi? <laughs> He's getting feisty on me. He's a feisty duck. Um, but, uh, but yes, yeah, so uh, that will help you. Um, I sh like I said, I just, um, I know it's hard. I know it's very, very difficult to do. Don't do it unless you absolutely have to. Um, and, uh, you know, practice with your syringe first so you know how it feels, you know how hard you have to push. Um, the longer the better so you can get it all the way down their, their little throats. You know, I get these from the from the vet or uh, you'll probably get the same thing like I said from the pharmacy um, but uh, I know this video is getting long um, if you guys uh, if you guys have seen any other videos of people um, dosing their ducks you can put them in the comments below or if you guys think we need to do another video of this we can maybe do another video the next time Victor needs to be dosed um, but feel free to put that in the comments um, and in the meantime I hope it helps um, but uh, Victor is uh, wanting to get back to his sister. Oh, he's poofing up for me here. I know it's too bad you guys can't see him. He's being good. You say bye. Say bye. Bye, everyone. There you go. Yeah, you're wave. Can you wave? Can you wave. <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys.